Hey there, are you trying to write a book, but you find that you just don't make time for it? And then over the course of the last year or two years or 10 years, you've been working on it a little bit at a time, but you don't feel like you can really stay motivated to get all the way to the finish line? <laughs> if that's you, this video is for you. My name's Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are your one-stop shop getting you from wherever you are to having a book in your hand. So please visit us at knliterary.com. I'm also a book editor in the U.S. publishing business, which has been my business for almost 25 years now. And I bring all the wisdom that I've gained in that time to you right here for free. So please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss a video. All right, so one of the things we hear all the time at KN Literary is that people have been wanting to write a book for a really long time, but they find it hard to stay motivated over the long haul. So I wanted to give you just a little bit of advice, some tips, etc., to keep you on track for your writing goals. Okay, so the very first tip I have for you is to set a meaningful writing goal. If you don't know when you want the book to be finished or the proposal to be finished, um, when you want it in the world, it's going to be very easy to find other things that are more important that are going to take the place of working on your book. So set a meaningful goal. And when I say meaningful, that means that it's more than just you telling yourself, I would like to have it done by March 1st, right? It's actually you may be telling other people that you're going to have it done. Maybe you set a goal for yourself where you get something you've really, really wanted. You're going to give yourself a really great gift if and when you finish that book on time. Maybe it's that you have some sort of an event that's coming up that you know would be a great opportunity to network about your book or maybe even sell some copies. That's a really meaningful goal. Another one that, you know, obviously works for many, many authors published by traditional houses is to have a book contract <laughs> where you have a deadline you have to turn it in by. That's probably the most motivating goal that there is out there. Um, of course, some of you know, I am lucky enough to co-teach some memberships with Hay House, um, the publisher. And in those memberships, we have contests where you can submit a book proposal and get your uh, book proposal seen by the Hay House editorial team, and one person will win a contract with Hay House. That is a goal that we have found over and over to be extremely motivating and meaningful to our authors. One other idea for setting a meaningful goal is to talk to another friend who's working on a book. Um, again, great place to find those friends is in one of our memberships at Hay House, but there are other places, maybe in your town, maybe there's a meetup group for writers, maybe you um, have other friends who are already working on books, whatever it might be, the two of you together could set a goal and say, hey, I'm going to hold you accountable and you can hold me accountable. And in that way, I actually had some friends once who said, if you know, everybody put like $100 in the pot and if you did not reach your goal, they were going to donate that $100 to a charity that's not something you support. I know that sounds a little edgy, but hey, that'll be motivating, right? You want to keep your hard-earned money where you want it to be. So that will help you to get to that book goal, whatever it is that you set. All right, another way to stay motivated in the long term with your book is to set small goals that you can feel success about. Rather than just saying to yourself, I am going to finish the entire book by March 1st, maybe what you say is, I want to have three chapters drafted, not finished, by October 1st. Now, that is so much easier to do. It's easier because you can choose which chapters you want to write, the ones that you're more motivated to write or maybe are easier to write. You can start there. It gives you some momentum and it also tells tells your brain that you are a successful writer, which is so much more important than you could possibly know. Our subconscious minds determine so much about what's happening in our outer world. And if you can convince that subconscious mind that you are a successful writer, it will follow up by bringing you writing success. It will get you to your computer more often. It will remind you, hey, I should be writing because it craves that feeling of success and a job well done. So give yourself small successes along the way rather than looking to just one huge goal. The third thing I want to talk to you about comes from a good friend of mine who is a truly an award-winning novelist. She's a novelist for her career. Um, so this is somebody who really has found success in the thing you want to do, which is writing books. How does she keep those deadlines? How does she get those books written? I'll tell you what she does. She writes like it's her job because it is her job. But you can write like it's your job, even if it's not 
yet your job. How do I, what do I mean when I say write like it's your job? So what my friend does is she gets up in the morning, she makes herself coffee, she does Wordle, just saying, and then she dives into writing for three or four hours every single morning. She actually does it in bed. You write wherever works for you. Doesn't have to be three or four hours if it's not already your career, which it probably isn't. Honestly, I'm gonna say, how about 15 minutes? If you can commit to writing like it's your job most days a week for 15 minutes, you will be shocked by how much progress you make. And again, how you're training that internal part of you to think of yourself as a writing success. So it's really down to, is this something that you want enough that you're willing to show up even when there's no inspiration to do so? Okay, because my friend isn't like waking up every single day feeling like I'm so inspired to write. She wakes up every day and she writes because that's her job, right? And it's just like any practice like meditation or going to the gym. You have big goals and those big goals take small, really good decisions every single day. And the decision that you can make is to actually be writing most days a week, again, like it's your job. So you don't wait for inspiration. I mean, that itself is a huge gift to remember you don't have to wait for inspiration you simply have to sit down and write when you have committed to yourself that you're going to be writing because again like i don't know how you feel about your day job but it's probably not every single day that you leap out of bed feeling like i can't wait to get to work today maybe some days i really hope for you some days you feel that way i definitely feel that way some days but there are other days where i'm like i'm tired i'd rather stay in bed or i'd rather do something else but i still do my job why because the bigger goal of having a roof over my head and helping a lot of people motivates me even when in the moment I don't feel inspired. The same is true for your book. You need to learn how to write for the big picture motivation, even when you don't feel inspired on a day-to-day -day basis. So to help you with that, I wanted to offer you a download, which is my weekly writing plan. That plan has helped so many authors actually get in the habit of writing. Putting the writing time in your calendar, deprioritizing really important things that maybe don't have to happen this month or next month, and slotting in writing, because by the way, you're not gonna make time, you have to actually carve it out of the schedule you already have, right? You're not making new time. You're deprioritizing places where you're spending your time now to put that writing in. And this writing plan will help you do that in a very succinct way. So how are you going to stay motivated over the long term to write your book? Let us know in the comments below. I always say that writing a book is a marathon, not a sprint. It really does take time, preparation, and commitment. So that is honestly, the, the if I give you a one word answer to the question, how do I stay motivated to write my book over the long haul? It is to commit to it and then follow through. I hope this has helped you. Please, again, visit us at knliterary.com. We love talking to authors just like you getting you from wherever you are to that goal of having that book in your hand. So please, looking forward to talking to you. And in the meantime, keep writing.